Before we start the session, make certain that you have the body wave armband on your arm and the light is turned on, which means the light will probably be red right now. Once you connect to a game, it will start flashing green. Also, if you're a coach and you're going to be tracking behaviors during the session, make certain that you have the session rating scale prepared. Let's review how to do a play attention session. When you're logging in to a play attention session, remember you want to use your student name and passcode. That's really important. Make certain that you're logged in as a student for your session, not logged in as a coach or as an administrator. The only way you'll store your data is if you're logging in as a student. The very first thing we come to is our welcome back screen. This is an opportunity to review, really important in the learning process. So make certain you take some time to look at how you've done so far and review what you did the last session and what you've learned. So you can see here, we're looking at visual tracking. I'm on the bronze level. The last time I worked on visual tracking, I was 88% attentive. My average was 80% and my best has been 93%. Now you also notice that I've earned one star. So I'm in the bronze level. So one star means that I have one star towards graduating to the intermediate level. Now you will not start receiving stars until you've played visual tracking at least seven times. On the eighth time you play visual tracking, Sheer Genius is going to start calculating benchmarks. If you reach the benchmark for that particular session, then you'll earn a star towards graduation. Once you've received five consecutive stars, then you will graduate to the intermediate level. You see that I'm on the bronze level in all of these activities, except I just graduated to silver in discriminatory processing. So during your review, you can look at the different activities. You can also look at behavior progress and see how you've been performing if you are tracking behaviors. Remember, it's important that you have the uh, session rating scale if you are tracking behaviors and working on eliminating those self-distracting behaviors like calling out or off task, fidgeting, humming, whatever those behaviors may be. So you can also review behavior progress before you get started. Then you can also look at what I've learned, what I'm proud of, and what I need to improve. Remember, this is all input in the journal entry at the end of a session. So right now you can see what I've learned. The last session I typed in, if I'm having a hard time, I should sit back and take a deep breath. That helps me. What I'm proud of, I fidgeted less than normal and my attention was over 75% on short-term memory. And then sheer genius auto-populates what you need to improve. These are all of your upcoming goals that you'll see. The distraction level I was working in the last session was medium. That tracks the distraction level in the environment. It doesn't change the difficulty of gameplay. It's simply saying that when I was doing my play attention session, there were some environmental distractions around me. Now that we've done our review, we're ready to play. So here are all of the activities that Sheer Genius has selected for me for today's session. You'll see that I can see all of the activities and I can also see my progress from the last time I worked on these activities. So what do I want to work on first? I think I am going to actually work on time on task. So I'm going to select time on task and you'll notice that I have two stars towards graduation to the next level. And today's goal, Sheer Genius is telling me that today's goal is to maintain 75% attention or higher. So I can look at my 
progress from the last times I've played this, but now I am ready to start. So I'm going to click play. Remember during this session, if you are a coach and you are tracking behaviors, you are making a note on the session rating scale of how many times that student has fidgeted or called out during this particular activity. Remember, if you're coach, you are scanning your student's eyes to make certain they keep their eyes on the screen character. You're quietly redirecting them if they need any type of redirection, such as let's only talk after the game has completed or relax, take a deep breath. And you're also tracking those behaviors on your session rating scale. Great, so now that I completed that activity, my coach is going to input how many times I exhibited each of these behaviors during that activity. So let's see, I was off task just two times. I called out, you can use the slider or you can actually just type in the number here. I fidgeted, let's say I fidgeted five times. Okay, now we're going to submit that information. You did it. And I reached my goal within the activity because remember, Sheer Genius told me that my goal for today was to maintain 75% attention or higher. And I did that. So let's look at my results. I was actually 87% attention attentive. I completed 100% of the activity. I did complete the activity because I completed the entire task and it took me eight minutes and six seconds. Once I complete all of the activities for this session, it's a good opportunity for me to purchase a reward. You'll notice that I have 157 points so far, so I haven't purchased a reward in a while. I'm going to click on rewards and I've redeemed all of my rewards so far. So let's go to buy rewards. Let's see, I have a few things I can purchase here. Pizza night, going to an amusement park, uh, game night, swim day. I'm gonna go ahead and collect on swim day. And I do have enough points. So I'm going to click on swim day and I do want to purchase that. So now I've purchased swim day and I can go ahead and redeem that sometime. If I would like to, I can redeem it or I can print out my uh, certificate. So now I've purchased swim day, so I can redeem that and my parents can take me to the pool uh, or maybe I'm going to go to the lake. I don't know what I'll do. Uh, so then I can go back to my games menu. Let's say that I've completed my entire session for the day. I can go ahead and select log out. Now, when I get to the journal, I can make note of how I perform today. The very first thing it asks me is the distraction level. And remember the distraction level just notes the distractions in your environment. And today I worked at a medium distraction level. The dog was walking through. Uh, I had the blinds open so I could kind of see what was going on outside. So it was a medium distraction level. And I can note what I've learned and what I'm proud of. So I learned today that when I fidget, I lose my attention. That's something I might want to work on in the future. What I'm proud of, I am proud of the fact that I decreased the number of times I called out. And I'm also proud that I completed 
I'm on task with 75% attention or higher because that was my goal. Okay. Now what I need to improve, remember sheer genius auto populates for me what I need to improve. And these are going to be my goals for the next time I work on play attention. So if I'm not done my session yet, I can say I'm not done yet and I can come back later and complete my session. But if I'm absolutely done with my session, I can go ahead and close the session and log out. So that's a quick run through on how to do a play attention session. If you need any other tips, make certain to visit our help desk or contact your personal executive function coach.